Now let us discuss question number 7. The question number 7 says the combustion of benzene gives carbon dioxide and water. The heat of combustion of benzene at constant volume is minus 3263.9 kilojoule per mole at 25 degree Celsius. Heat of combustion in kilojoule per mole of benzene at constant pressure will be. These are the 4 options given. Now, here in this question this is important point we are given with heat at constant volume and we have to find heat at constant pressure. Students we know the heat exchange at constant volume is internal energy change that is delta u and heat exchange at constant pressure is enthalpy change that is delta h. For this question let us write the combustion reaction of benzene C 6 H 6 liquid when reacts with 15 by 2 moles of O 2 gas this gives us 6 moles of carbon dioxide gas plus 3 moles of water liquid. Now, here delta N G will be equal to number of moles of gases in the product minus number of moles of gases in the reactant. Now, in product we have 6 moles of the gas and in the reactant we have 15 by 2 moles of oxygen. On solving it will give us delta N G equal to minus 3 by 2. Now, as we know delta H is equals to delta U plus delta N G R T, we can put the values, the value of delta U is equals to, it is given here minus 3263.9, minus 3263.9 it is in kilo joule delta ng is minus 3 by 2 the value of r is 8.314 and temperature is 298 kelvin we will multiply this by 10 to the power minus 3 so let's multiply it by 10 to the power minus 3 in order to convert it into kilo joule on solving it will give us the answer minus 3267.6 kilojoule. So, the correct answer for this question is option 3 and answer for this question is option 3. Now, let us move to the next question. This question says which is question number 8 the compound that does not produce nitrogen gas by the thermal decomposition is these are the options given let us find what these compounds give on strong heating when ammonium dichromate is heated it gives us nitrogen Cr2O3 and water. Now, the second option is ammonium nitrite. When ammonium nitrite is heated, it gives us N2 and H2O. When ammonium sulphate is heated, It gives us ammonia gas and H2SO4. When barium azide is heated, it gives us barium plus nitrogen. Now, we can see here that ammonium sulphate does not give us nitrogen on strong heating. 
So, the correct answer for this question is option 3. Now, let us move to the next question. The next question is question number 9, which says how long approximate should water be electrolyzed by passing through 100 amperes current, so that the oxygen release can completely burn 27.66 gram of diborane. Now, this question belongs to electrochemistry chapter, here we will apply Faraday's law of electrolysis. First of all, we have to understand how much oxygen is required. If I talk about B2H6, when it reacts with oxygen, it gives us B2O3 plus 3 moles of H2O. In this reaction, we can see we need 3 moles of oxygen for 1 mole of B2H6. The mass of 1 mole of B2H6 is around 27.66 gram. So, 27.66 gram of B2H6 require 3 mole of oxygen. Then, if we electrolyze water, in the electrolysis of water, 2 moles of water gives us 2 moles hydrogen gas and 1 mole of oxygen gas. In this complete process, 4 Faraday charge is consumed. So, 4 Faraday charge required for 1 mole oxygen. Now, if I talk about 3 moles of O2, then 12 Faraday charge is required for 3 moles of O2. Now, we have 12 Faraday charge Now, we have 12 Faraday charge. So, in coulombs, the charge will be equal to 12 into 96500 coulomb. Also, the charge is equals to current into time. So, current is given 100 amperes into time. That will be equal to 12 into 96500 coulomb. On solving it give us the time equal to 3.2 hours. Students, here the time will be in seconds, which when divided by 3600 gives us time in hours. So, the correct answer for this question is option 2. Now, let us move to the next question. <coughs> 